Hey, hey developers, today we're gonna look at Vue 2.7. What does that mean to you and for the future of Vue? If you're an older version of Vue 2, should you upgrade to Vue 2.7? And what new features does it bring to the table and how does it relate to Vue 3? We're gonna look at that and more and how to get started. So please stay all the way to the end. All right, so here is Vue 2.7. They're calling it the Naruto release. And why this is so special is that it actually backports all the new Vue 3 features or a handful of the more popular view three features into view two so you no longer have to use any of anthony fuse fuse plugins you just have to install this latest update so the most important ones you can see here is the composition api so if you have been waiting and you've been using the options api for a long time here is your time to jump into the composition api upgrade to view 2.7 and you can do that. There's also adding it to script setup. I know for me, I don't write view apps anymore without script setup. That is kind of the clear way that you create view apps nowadays. It's a little bit more messy, I would say. In the options API, you knew exactly where to put everything. But now with the composition API and with script setup, you're kind of left to organize your script setup the way you want. But I think it has so much flexibility. It's just easier to use. I really like it. And then also add CSS uh, V bind. And now it added some other APIs like this define component, which it improves type inf uh, inference. So one bad thing about two view two that a lot of people complained about is that TypeScript support was lacking. But now with view three, and now with view 2.7, this is becoming much more easier to add TypeScript in. You don't have to add in some third party uh, libraries to do it. It also adds, this, adds in use slots, use adders, set, delete, next tick, emits. And then it also gives you a couple of warnings on uh, differences between view 2 and view 3, and that you have to be careful on the way you use it. So, for example, Reactive ref and shell ref will directly convert original object instead of creating proxies. This means true in 2.7, false in 3.x. So you still have to worry about, it's not gonna be one-to-one -one between view 2.7 and view 3. There's definitely some differences, but I think this is an important step in the view ecosystem to kind of unify around this one way of creating view apps. If you're using the options API right now, that's fine. You can still use it, but this just, I think for any new apps, there's like almost no reason why you shouldn't use the composition API. And in my opinion, script setup. Hey, we're going to get back to the video in one second, but I just wanted to thank one of the sponsors of this video. And that's this learn Python. It's a nursery rhyme and fairy tales book. It's basically to teach your kids how to code. Uh, I got this sent to me by the author. And I just wanted to say, this is a really cool book. I did it with my kids and it's kind of a neat way to teach them how to code. It gives you like uh, examples of code to write. And then it also gives you like a little nursery rhyme and explains exactly what the code is. So it has really cool pictures. Check it out. I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to look at that. Thanks. So another few things I mentioned, there's an upgrade guide here. Uh, so this is this build I think is perfect for those who are still on Vue 2 that have not upgraded to Vue 3 yet and want to kind of upgrade to the latest version of Vue two and then get some of those features in there and like i said you don't have to install any plugins or anything like that or additional libraries you just get this all built in and so if you start if you install view 2.7 and then start converting everything over to the view three way of doing things with script setup and composition api that upgrade will be a little bit easier for you you're definitely going to run into problems with the upgrades from view 2 to v3 i've heard many stories i've i've been involved with it however this might be a good middle step for for doing it. Looks like 2.7 support for Vite is provided. So now you can even get Vite working with Vue 2, which is something that normally it was only Vue 3. I've never done that. Maybe if you guys want me to, I can do a video of creating a Vue 2 app using Vite, which most people just use Vue CLI, I would assume. And then it has better, it has some Volar compatibility. You can put this target in here. There is one really important thing that I want to kind of talk about a little bit here that's mentioned uh, the implications of the 2.7 release. And one of the reasons I'm making this video, so if you this is the first time hearing about this new release, keep this in mind. This will be the last, as it says right here, will be the last, the final minor release of Vue 2.x. After this release, Vue 2 has entered the LTS or long-term support, which lasts for 18 months from now and will no longer receive new features. This is huge. So if you are on view two, 
and you have been waiting and waiting and waiting for the ecosystem and everything in the Vue 3 world to catch up. This is the time for you to start thinking about your upgrade plans from Vue 2 to Vue 3 because as it stands, Vue 2 will reach end of life by the end of 2023. So that gives you, you know, roughly 18 months from now to get your apps fully upgraded and get on the Vue 3 uh, ecosystem and get into the few few three and if not you will no longer have support now there is I believe they they mentioned this at viewconf I was just at that they might have some sort of extended plans we are planning to provide extended support for view 2 for teams with such needs if you need ex beyond 2023 so they are they there might be some sort of paid extended plan which I think will probably be quite expensive so it's not completely out of the possibilities of you continuing to use a Vue 2 after 2023, I would just say that it's recommended that you upgrade to Vue 3 and it'll probably save you a lot of money, especially if you're in an enterprise company or a larger company that really needs to make sure that Vue 2 is supported in the future. So I think that's really exciting. It's really exciting that that this is happening, you know, that Vue 2 is finally being end of life and within 18 months that we're finally moving to Vue 3. I Because I think this... You know, this is the future. Like, we want to keep moving on, keep creating new enhancements and making the platform better. And it's, I don't want a situation where we're in this Python where we have this two and they're like maintaining both at the same time. I'm glad they're finally cutting it off. One other thing to keep in mind the view two to view three migration is not easy. I kind of mentioned that earlier, but there, you can do it in increments. There's a whole, there was a great talk I saw at ViewConf where. There is plugins, there's libraries to really help the migration. There's Vue 2 to Vue 3 migration libraries to make this migration easier. So once again, try to upgrade to 2.7, look at some of the documentation out there for migrating from Vue 2 to Vue 3, take that into consideration. Also, let me know if you have made it all the way to this part of the video, I appreciate it. Leave a comment and let me know if you are one of those people that are waiting to upgrade to Vue 3 and how you plan on tackling this. Are you gonna wait another 12 months to upgrade? Have you started the plans? What kind of uh, libraries are you gonna use? Let me know. So I wanna show you guys how you would use Vue 2.7. So you can use Vite. I'll probably do another video on that, how to get that working with Vite. I just use Vue CLI. So right now, as of this recording, I'm using 5.0.6. If you don't know how to install Vue CLI, you just do npm i at Vue CL, CLI tag G, and that'll install the latest version of Vue CLI. And then you just do Vue create, I know Vue app to seven, and then it's gonna ask you a couple questions. I'm just gonna use this default Vue 2 Pabble ESLint, and this will install the latest version of Vue 2 with the build tool so you can build your app. Okay, so I'm in this new Vue 2 app, so you can see here, if I, do npm list, this is gonna show my dependencies. You can see it has Vue 2.7.1. So you can see Vue is already in 2.7.1 by the time this recording happened. And if you look at the package.json, and we, let's see here, go to the bottom, you see 2.6.4. So this caret means we're using semantic versioning. It's gonna do the latest version up to the major version. So all the way up to 2.9.9. So we're at 2.7.1. If that didn't make any sense, look up semantic versioning, but basically we installed the latest version of Vue on here. And so we can just test it out to see if it works. So if we go into first, if we uh, open up the web page, you see here I have the app open. So let's make this a little bit bigger. And here's our Hello World app. So I'm just gonna delete a few things. And I don't even want this Hello World script right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if script setup works out of the box here. First, I'm going to put in an H3 here. Let's do, I don't know, Hello. Well, first, since we're in Vue 2, you still have to have one root template element. So I'm gonna put just a div here. And now I'm gonna put an H3 three hello world and by the way my keyboard is quite clicky i apologize and then instead of here i'm going to do script setup and if i save it and i come back here cool so i see hello world it's definitely working and if i come back over here let's import ref from view and then we'll do const counter 
equals ref zero. And we'll have to use it now in here. Counter. And look to see Volar is already detecting it. I'm not getting any issues with my IDE having problems with it. And I'll do a button. Press me. And I'll do an at click. And we'll just do counter plus plus. Let's see if that works. So if I come back over here and I press the button, you can see it's incrementing as we expect it. And yep, we now have the composition API with script set up in a view to app. Uh, it's all working as expected. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment below. I really appreciate it. Let me know if you're gonna be upgrading. And if you like this video, make sure you share this with others. Thanks. Like, click, and subscribe.